In this video trailer, we look at how to better time our flag pattern trade entries. Stay tuned. Hey guys, warm welcome to you. All right, so timing the flag pattern. The flag pattern's been super valuable. Um, the last year of trading, uh, especially if you've been trading uh, US equities, has just been flag city. Um, and I've made no secret, guys, it's my favorite trading pattern. Um, I kind of covered it in some early videos, and I've said, hey, if you wanted to just use one pattern and focus on that, would be the flag. You, know, uh, you guys, if you've followed me for a while, know that I really like flags. But something that people struggle with is uh, entering on a flag, uh, or how you get the entry. So the flag pattern is, you know, it's a classical, let's not go over it too much, but it's a drive up, there's your pole, and it's this kind of consolidation at highs, and the idea is this is a flagpole and that's your flag. And really the expectation is that we're gonna continue, it's a continuation type trade, a momentum type trade that continues on in the direction of the initial drive. Now, um, I'm not gonna kind of go into finer detail here in terms of what we're looking for on the flag, uh, et cetera. Um, I wanna keep this video specifically about getting the entries onto the flag. And I wanna cover, uh, I'm gonna come in three different ways. I'm gonna show you a couple of examples of trades that I did take and I'll show you the exact entries I took in and what the trigger was to get into the trade. I've got a couple as well that I haven't taken but I'll kind of show you uh, exactly how you would use specific ways of kind of drawing stuff on the chart to enter the trade. So this one I didn't take however I have been trading a lot of solars but not a specific one. This is TAN, this is the uh, solar ETF um, and one way of kind of trading a flag which you know flags are very rarely perfect there's a couple that are perfect i'll show you actually a couple i got a couple of great trades to end of last year just based on the really nice flags but often they're not as clear as we'd like uh, not as strong as we'd like but sometimes you know you take what you get and you and you play the game so this um this is a flag here right it's uh it's a, it's a bit of a long flag to be honest and the pole's not as, as high as i'd like um this is kind of probably a little bit better but this is kind of the scenario that you, you've got and one way to take it is a is to draw a trend line to the downside of the flag and then take a trade as you break the flag so as you're coming in if you're kind of trading downwards that's the worst drawing ever uh, you look for a break of that that's not my preferred method but sometimes that can work you know, sometimes that can work uh, i didn't take that trade like i say but that's something to look out for. Now, let me show you some uh, of the trades that I did take. Uh, you know, Cloudflare, um, I've been trading Cloudflare, but one of these ones, which again, it's a sloping down type of flag. It's not a, this is a little bit longer than you'd like, um, but it's still okay. You know, you're trading or you're drawing, should I say, the counter trend move and you're trading a break of that. All right, so let's look at some of the trades that I did take and some of the kind of entries of the trades I did take. Uh, you know, one thing you're looking for as well in your flags is you're looking for, um, you know, a kind of, you, you want to kind of get the bigger picture of the flag. You know, you really want to kind of see exactly, you know, what the flag is doing, what the price action is doing, um, how it's looking, uh, you know, where it wants to go, what it wants to do. Um, you know, you just want to really get a feel for you know whether it's strong how it responds to the drive higher etc now one of the kind of classical flags from kind of summertime in spotify and then we have one in shopify actually as well um is this kind of thing you get a drive higher and it's a good drive you've got a good pole and then you have a solid flag so this is a textbook flag and one of the ways of entering it which is, isn't my preferred method i'll show you my preferred method in a moment is to take a break literally in a horizontal break to the high side so as soon as it breaks the high side, you're long, your stop goes here below the low, and you're looking to drive higher. Now, let me just say a caveat to that, guys. The downside of that is sometimes you might get a false break that comes back, tests, and it goes again kind of four or five days later, swing trading. That's the downside of that. But if you feel like you've got some momentum behind it, if you feel like this is the time it's going, if, if, if perhaps it's already done a little dip under the flag, and then it goes, then I'm all up for that. And I'll take trades that, that kind of, the, the kind of do ha show that uh, or exhibit that type of of setup uh, if you like all right so let's move my cursor here and let's get rid of this click on this trading view always loves me to do this so let me show you a kind of flag that uh, I took in in an uber actually and then I'll show you one in I'll show, I'll show you the snapchat one first because I think the snapchat one's probably it's it's not perfect but I like the way that it, it's set up 
So you had this bigger flag here, and I wasn't, I was kind of watching it, and then it eventually broke to highs, but then it kind of did a little flag within a flag. Um, and these wicks here, this is the kind of thing I talk about clues that that you've got strength. You know, this is intraday push to lows, intraday push to lows, intraday, and then come back up. And then going back to the traditional method, you know, we take it on a break of the high flag, and, and you're okay doing this, and this is a trade that worked out okay, but you're okay doing this because you've got some evidence that that's actually gonna break because intraday we're putting these wicks in. And what is that telling you? It's telling you that when we go to lows intraday and we break back to when we, we end up closing higher than at the lows very often. So buyers are there, buyers are looking um, you know, to get into that trade. Now, another one I took on Square, this was a nice little trade as well. It took a while to work out, but hey, you know, it, it, it is what it is and it's the way it is. This is my preferred method of taking the flag. So you have the flag pole, the good drive higher, and I want to draw over it. And then you have this little flag forming here, right? There's your pole, there's your highs. And if you look at kind of some of the filters I like to look at for all time highs as well, um, that's kind of ticking a big box for me. Is it as clean as I like? No, but are they ever as clean as you like? Very rarely, apart from that one earlier we had. So this is a nice entry. This is the kind of thing I like. So I like to see the drive higher, the pole, then I like to see, uh, let me try not to ruin this too much. If we go, there's our low, like here, okay? And we get the dip below the low and the push back up. I absolutely love these guys. These are my number one favorite pattern. They have been my most profitable pattern last year. And depending on what the market's gonna do, I will look out for these more than any other. Yes, I'll take a break of the flag to the high side. Yes, I'll take the trend line break, but these are great because the risk reward ratio on these trades is immense. Do they always work out? No, of course they don't. Uh, but funnily enough, more often than not, they have been. There's this a good win rate as well as a high risk reward ratio. So you're looking for it to break through the low of the flag. So in other words, we have the pole, we have the flag put in here, and it just breaks through, but then comes back up under. That sometimes takes two days, one day's even better, because it's gone below, it's gone, no, I don't like it, especially in a whole number like 200, push back up, closed above it. The reason I like this, guys, is you can frame the trade and you can have a beautiful risk reward ratio on the trade. You can go, you can be long here, and whatever I was long at, it was kind of 202 or whatever it is, it was, you know, as we're pushing back up through the level, my stop's gonna be below the low here, and I'm looking for kind of a, a move to fresh highs. There's no reason why we're not gonna break. The whole thesis of the flag is that you're gonna break through the prior high. The prior high this time was, was 215. And uh, some people say that you're looking for the same same uh, kind of distance as the flag pole. I'm not a huge fan of that, but you know, if you did play that game, then you're looking at that type of move. Uh, I didn't quite get there, but you, you get the idea. You're looking for 250s. So the risk reward ratio is whatever it is seven bucks risk and i'm looking for you know at least the high of that so 15 bucks if not you know 30 bucks 25 bucks 40 you get the point the idea is the risk ratio is good and right this one eventually kind of uh, hit my trading stop I pulled me out of the trade and didn't kind of push on to, to didn't kind of rip on but some of them do rip on loads and you get huge risk water ratio but the point is guys is that you know this little dip below is a very nice way to enter so to summarize we've got the trend line break so you've got the time when you've got the little downside if i can get that there on trading view you've got that when it breaks through the downtrend line after a push to highs you've got the horizontal high break and then you've got the little dip below the flagpole low break and those are my favorite because the risk order ratio is so quantified you haven't got to use the whole flagpole uh, of the whole flag width as a stop and actually i can't remember the name of the stock that i was trading with it was a stock that i was trading um was it fire right actually fire right setting up now it's one of the ones i'm watching now actually um there was one uh before i can't remember off the top of my head but it it, it kind of broke to the high but the stop was so wide that you kind of had to finagle it a little bit and go or oh, maybe i'll do half the range and then you know you're trying to force stuff a little bit and so you go okay if i take it i can't really take it full size because i'm being a little bit uh i'm kind of trying to trying to mold this into what i really want um, and it's not quite as nice as when you do get the below break and then it pushes to highs. Anyway, guys, that's a flag entry. Hope that's helped. If it has, thumbs up. Appreciate it. Take care. Bye-bye.